shirt's on fire. Oh, shirt's on fire. Barry White needs some inspiration. I had a lot of race cars. I love the cars more than I love the racing. Something to rev up his team. Some kind of big engine, big block, hopefully. Something sticking out of the hood. Check that out. It's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Something to loosen pockets. Super high reserve. Everybody wants to keep this car. <laughs> Something like he's never built before. And it's made to do one thing, and that's scare the crap out of you. 8600. How to make a buck. The Barry White way. Just rip that out of there. Find a wreck. That's exactly what we're looking for. Sleeping underneath there? <laughs> Get the right people. Dan, do something. What do you want me to do? <laughs> That's the work. The right parts. Easy, easy, easy. And go to work. Bring it on. Then hope. It's flawless. Someone wants to buy it. Let your money bring you happiness. That's how you get from Rex to Riches. Barry White's speed shop in Corona, California has never been so busy. On top of building big dollar hot rods for elite clients, Barry's chasing a personal challenge, turning deadbeat wrecks into showroom classics. Just one transformation would take anyone else a year. Barry's doing 10 of them in as many months. Yeah, we're under the gun and yeah, it's a, it's a stress, it's a stress time. So why go through all of this? Good old fashioned money. 20 grand. Do it now. Barry's hitting prestige auto auctions around America. Oh, I got 52,000 over here. On a good day, Barry's super muscle cars make 30 grand. On a bad day, he can lose 50. I just can't afford to give it away. It's a fast track, high stress gamble. And midway through, the pressure's starting to show on his team. Oh, I'm sure they're on their spot. Shop morale is lagging. What's that gonna do, going down the road? Hey. Now I gotta go build something But Barry's got a plan. The former drag racer knows what it takes to get his young team's blood flowing. a lot of race cars. I always did it because I love the cars. I, I love the cars more than I love the racing. Friday night dates were sitting in the garage while he worked on the race car so that we could go out Saturday and race. Becky and I's first date was uh, she went to the races with me and I had a Nova. That was pretty cool. Building a Chevy Nova dragster helped him win his wife's heart. Barry's hoping this $1,000 rack will do it for his mechanics. You got a box, a trunk full of spare parts. This Front is like doors. the bottom feeder kind of car. It was a six cylinder post car. Oh. This is a great little cart. Which is what about 80% of the drag car were made out of. You, you just fill that Doesn't hole. Doesn't look too exciting to, now, uh, but in four stand. weeks, it'll be a it's fire breathing monster. Yeah. I love six cylinder cars. Nobody ever tears them up. I think the, the main thing with this car, though, is we can actually build a car that, that it can go out to the track and run and have some fun with it. Barry loves to build super muscle cars, but this baby will be extreme. Some kind of big engine, big block, hopefully. Something sticking out of the hood. It's showroom, the drag strip. 12-point cage, you know, make it so it's rigid. We want it to be a good, safe car if you're going to jump on the throttle hard. What do we want to do on the interior? Two seats, two buckets, make it all NHRA's legal. Hardcore 
bitching. Have some fun with it. Yeah, this should get the build team motivated, but it's a big risk for Barry. He has to get his money back. The Portland Auto Auction's in four weeks. How many of these bidders want a street legal drag car? The Chevy Nova ain't exactly a sought after classic. Back in the early 60s, they were finally starting to build some little compact cars. The Nova just happened to be one of those little compact cars, and it was a cheap car, had basically no frill kind of interior. You know, you could order the six cylinder with a radio delete and a rubber floor. These wrecks are a dime a dozen. Barry scored a good one, needing little bodywork. They were cheap to get into, easy because there wasn't much to them, and it was a very lightweight car because it was so small. As any racer knows, light car plus muscle equals speed. Anything that's going to have a drag race theme is, is something that's going to spark a little interest in me. Barry's young paint and body guy, Todd Barton, can't wait to get his hands on the Nova. Pretty much all I know in life is every weekend it was time to go racing, so anytime we can incorporate, you know, any type of work with that, uh, it's definitely going to heighten my interest. Todd drives a 400 horsepower rail at over 150 miles per hour. Barry's promised him the first run in the new Nova. Yeah, this is a first. All the other cars, for, for whatever reason, they, they get out of here, it seems like, before I get a chance to either drive them or even go shotgun with Barry driving them. Todd and designer Chris Brown have teamed up for the look. The color of the car is gonna be the limetime green. It's a house of color, real bright, vivid, almost obnoxious color by the time we get done with it. To make it pop even more, we wanna put flames on it. We're gonna go with a pearl white into yellow with orange tips on the flames. Pinstripe color between the two. I don't know, maybe we'll go with a silver or a red or something like that. And then on top of that, we're gonna do green tinted windows, which is, sounds kind of weird, but at the same time, that was a very popular thing to do with a gasser. Now we have to come up with a cool name, something to do with green. It was always like the Green Goblin or, you know, they always had that's some sissy, name like that's that. a sissy ass name. Well, yeah, but they always would tie. Yeah, no, we need to call like it something, something green, like gangrene or there you go. something nasty. Despite the name, the only major body panel with disease is the left rear, easily replaced. We've still got some body work to do on the on the cab, but I know the the big push is within the next day or so to have this thing in primer so we can get it to the other shop and get the cage in it. The Nova may be built for the track, but Barry insists the quality should rival any roadster. This is one of those cars that probably be a selectively driven car. You know, you'd maybe drive it to the car shows and that kind of thing. It's not something you'd go drive to work. So far, the plan's working perfectly. But why wouldn't it? These guys are racing mad. It hasn't been going sideways. It's been going straight. Well, that little tire. Yeah. This is the shop dragster. You want to go sideways. Hold the brakes longer. <laughs> go! Basically, what we do is work on Wednesday nights on it. I buy the pizza, and all the guys kind of put in the labor on it. 
Defendant Blank has put in the most work on the small block 357. Barry just came to me and said, hey, you want to build a drag car? I said, yeah. He said, start putting it together. With two dragsters in the shop, Barry's thinking a little rivalry could spark things up. We got enough time to get the 36 Chevy done, our little shop race car. Yeah. Maybe go out there and race some hell with him. Yeah, we'll race some hell. See, see if get you it can, done. See if you can run him down. Yeah. What do you think, Todd? You up for it? Up for a little, for a little match race? Is he up for it? Is he up for it? Oh, <laughs> it's on uh, already, isn't it? Uh, yeah, but at, at my age, this is a one rare time where I've got more experience than the other person. <laughs> so. Will it be down to the cars or the drivers? In just under four weeks, Barry White will take his biggest gamble yet. Put your hands up and buy a great car. The Silver Auto Auction in Portland, Oregon sells all kinds of cars. But they won't have seen anything quite like what Barry has in store. The roll bar tubing will come up and over, and then to the other side, there'll be two braces going in the back. It will be the meanest, strongest, fastest car he's ever built. Depending on how fast the car actually we think it's going to go, we may put a hoop around the top and two bars down so it's a completely enclosed roll cage. They don't get too many drag cars on the block here, but Barry's hoping his baby will pop. You're out. Money's over here. It's a huge challenge, but it's a lot of fun because most of the guys are into drag racing. So when they're into drag racing, this car turns them on and they're all fired up. It certainly got his boys excited. Paint and body guy Todd has been promised the first ride. I can already see what the car is going to look like when it's done. It's going to be a good looking car. Up against Brandon in the shop dragster. What are you talking about? I'm going to kick your ass. We'll see. He's going to find out what the old drag racers used to do. We were betting a grand on this, too, right? <laughs> yeah, I said pink slips. <laughs> Great, pink we slip. don't own either of them. <laughs> but before anyone can race, there'll be a lot of thrashing to convert this Chevy Nova into a street-legal dragster. Pull that one out. Fortunately for us, from 62 to 67, I believe, you can unbolt all these bolts around here. There's four big bolts on each side. Disconnect the steering and roll, literally roll the front of the car away from you. To make the car strong enough, they're building the front end from scratch. Not enough. And then we build a perimeter tube and put an axle under it. And then you have all the room in the world. You can put your own in aluminum inner fender panels and all that. 3 sixteenths off that, you'd be right where you need to be. Strength will be everything in this monster. It's getting a racing roll cage. You never build a car that you're building to go fast in, not to crash it. Because when you do that, then you lose sight of what you're doing. You always build it stronger than it needs to be. So if something does go wrong, nobody gets hurt. We just want to make sure it's good and strong and safe. When somebody takes off down the, down the track in it, they're not going to get hurt. One week down, roll cage and body have cost five grand and 70 work hours. Time for the mother of all paint jobs. And this That's is a fine. basic guideline. Going back and forth across that hood cut. Let's just move it a little bit so that the one way or the other right in the right. curve. And you don't right. have to less stuff to deal with. Yeah. You can get away with the stupidest, craziest paint jobs on a race car that you couldn't get away with anywhere else. At least we can flame the sides, get that all done, and uh, get it cleared, get the lettering on it, and keep on rolling. That's the main thing. Yeah. Flame it. Let's do it. 
This paint job with all the trimmings is going to cost almost 10 grand, revving the spendometer to 15,100 work hours. Back in the office, Chris is preparing a surprise. Every cool drag team needs a fleet of pit bikes for cruising race venues. One of our customers built this really cool cruiser bike, so we thought we could actually customize some of these bikes, and uh, we're gonna make three of these that are all slightly different, but they're all gonna have the paint scheme of gangrene. I think it's gonna look really cool out there. Todd's an artist. He has to blend the flame color from yellow to orange. We'll put base coat of white down, some white pearl over it, and we'll start the shading with the house color yellow and the ultra orange pearl. And he's got to please the guy writing the checks. All the pressure's on Todd right now. This could be make or break at auction. Three weeks to the silver auto auction, and a first for Barry White. Amongst the hundreds of streetcars going under the hammer here, he'll be serving up a full-blown 60s race car. Street legal, but built for the track. A show-stopping paint job and a 600 plus horsepower supercharged 427 big block. Yeah, check that out. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. The bar just got you. higher for Brandon's rival shop dragster. I don't think you're in trouble. I might be a little bit in trouble. Let's we'll see. A little bit. <laughs> the blower shop was kind enough to build us a billet aluminum blower, which is way more than we ever anticipated that they do. This is this thing is just awesome. Barry's spendometer just took a major hit to 28 big ones with 120 work hours. It looks like Todd's gonna be in trouble. Todd's gonna be yeah, in trouble. Todd's, <laughs> so is he. Todd, we're both gonna be in trouble. <laughs> wow. And this goes on top of that. The pit bikes have arrived in a kit. I don't know what the freaking spacers are for. How many people that build hot rods does it take to put together a bike? Good thing we don't have a chopper show, huh? Set it on the ground. No. That one has a bunch of spacers under it. Yeah, but tell me how you're going to put that. Oh, 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 I get it. Get away. Get, 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 get. What, the, the, what are you doing? No, that was on is... top. Someone's got to get mileage out of this. I just heard there was something okay, entertaining going on here. Just shush. Oh, stop being such a baby. They're not going to show this on TV. I'm gonna let you take the first ride on this. <laughs> you still got two of these. Sign writer Phil Whetstone could probably help, but the gold leaf specialist has better things to do. It takes a little bit of practice. This being the patent leaf, it's a uh, a little easier to apply than the glass leaf, but you still have to pay attention. Cool, huh? It's a Berry Speed Shop first. I wondered how they, I always wondered how they made that look like that. Now I know. It seems like the swirls the race car guys like. So that's why we ended up doing most of the swirls. Woo! That's cool. Makes the light reflect off of it, kind of gives a little motion and movement. Looks especially nice at night racing with the artificial lighting on there. Just kind of looks like a diamond. That is just awesome. It's not often someone comes into the shop and blows everyone away. It's awesome. I told him the other day, you better never die because I want him to paint every one of my cars. You know, I mean, it's, it's, 
it's amazing what that what that guy can do. I mean, just to do all that by hand is incredible. With two weeks till auction, there's still a ways to go. But a bare bones race interior will save some time. No frills in the trunk either, just a racing fuel cell. The team has taken some yeah. tricked up, <laughs> cool cars to auction. Yeah. But this mean green monster is becoming the sentimental favorite. Super high uh, reserve, <laughs> under grand. Everybody wants to keep this car. <laughs> we wouldn't mind if this one didn't sell, but you know, it needs to sell. It needs to belong to somebody. Oh, didn't make the reserve. I guess I gotta take it home. Too bad. <laughs> If it's a keeper, it'll cost Barry 35,000 and 200 hours, and then some. Barry's dragster challenge is bringing out more memories. Brandon's dad, Chris, was a racer too. He enjoys working on cars. I guess he took it up after me and enjoys it. I'm glad he's doing what he's doing. Ready? Ready? All right. OK, here we go. Push him. Push him there. Yeah, Chris? Yep. Yep, you're clear. Come this way, These Lumbran. drag racing nuts are in Nirvana. Two cars to play with. Stand, then we can go back in. We're going to have to lower the, the back end okay. down a little bit. All right. Two weeks to auction. Gang Green's thumping heart is surgically installed. John Barrett built us a bitchin' engine with Brodick heads and just all the, you know, a billet, a blower shop blower, and we're putting a Hellborn four-port injector. We're trying to replicate that old look, but with the new technology. So it'll be a turn the key, start it up, drive it away kind of thing. It's easier for me to do it's gonna this. gonna go straight down. You'll probably get a lot of crazy looks if you're driving this down the street, because they're gonna think, you might get pulled over a few times thinking it's just strictly a race car, but it's it's a registered, legal, 60s, you know, car, so it, it it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's starting to look mean now. It's gonna get met. Now it's gonna get a lot meaner. All right, Chris, set the hat on there. Let's see what it looks like. The supercharger promises upwards of 600 horsepower at the crank. Yeah, that looks like it's perfect. To do the Adam. quarter mile in around 10 seconds. <laughs> That's just goofy. That's out of control. <laughs> Is this going to entice bidders or scare them off? <laughs> That's just insane. In 10 days, buyers at the Silver Auto Auction are in for one heck of a surprise. Barry White's bringing the baddest car he's ever built. Find a little old lady six-cylinder car and, and gut it all out and make a race car out of it? Selling a dragster at a street auto auction. Barry's got courage. But he wanted something to reinvigorate his team. And it's working. It's not very hard to get the guys to work on this car. <laughs> They're ready to throw down tools and, and work on this one anytime. The Nova Projects also flushed out the 354 small block shop dragster. Barry's fabricator, Brandon, is set to go head to head with the auction racer. So he's getting in some practice. You get so pumped and it's nothing, I mean, you can't explain, it's just a thrill and your adrenaline's going so fast. And it's everything that's going on, the engine's running, it's loud. I mean, it's just, it's a blast. I can't wait to take it down the racetrack. Let's go. After working on this car for more than a year, it's Brandon's first run on a track.
1.3 seconds for the eighth mile, or 90 miles per hour. He did all right. Looked like he uh, tried to foot brake it a little on the starting line, and it wouldn't hold and try to roll through, but he got off the throttle quick enough to where he wouldn't roll through the beams. It just staged him a little deep, so that's going to hurt the ET just a little bit. Next day, everyone's back at work. With just a week to auction, gangrene's presenting some unusual problems. We're working on a third radiator. We've had two radiators in the car, nothing seems to fit because a big block engine is two inches longer. Then we put a four inch belt drive on the blower, so now it's sticking out even further. We're gonna cut the core support out and revamp it and stick the radiator basically out in the grill. We're pecking away at it, but it's, yeah, we're down to days, so it's, it's getting kind of kind of hairy, and you know, we still got a business to run. Yeah, it'll be there, but it's just, everybody's gonna be tired when they get there. A little more. We're going with a, the Dynamax muffler, and it's a very limited, as you can see, you can see right through it. There's almost no restriction. You know, this won't hurt the performance at all. This is. Basically what most guys would use on a race car today, it just gets the thing legal as far as the sound decibels. It'll be a hard ride, but you can still take it grocery shopping if you want. To make it a street car, a real street car, I mean, it's going to have a horn and blinkers and headlights and you know I mean it's gonna have all the stuff functioning correctly we're not putting air or anything like that in it but it's gonna be a streetable car and the super muscle car theme is what we want to you know stay with so it's just more of a drag race super muscle car this split personality monster Nova has so far devoured forty three thousand dollars and two hundred eighty hours You know, there's a lot of fabrication involved in this car, so a lot, of, a lot that people probably aren't even going to see. We don't hang them together. If you just wanted to, as we jokingly say, lean it together and take it to a show, well, that's one thing. But to actually make this a running, driving, functioning vehicle in the time frame we have, it's pretty, it's pretty spectacular. Yeah, this team can work miracles as long as it doesn't involve bicycles. Barry's had to call in experts for the pit bikes. Oh, that's how that goes together. Yeah, it's got one of those things that goes on top of the other deal. <laughs> is that a technical term? Yeah. For us it is. Another thing setting Gang Green apart from Barry's other super muscle cars will be the wheels. Small fronts and big slick rears. It's on. We're just going to have to trim it. Well, yeah, we're going to have to nip the front of this out. Okay. Looks like Barry's eyes are too big for the Nova's wheel well. I'm not worried about the front. That's easy. That, that will take it all the way to the inner panel. Now I'm worried about this. Oh, and then we also have a. Uh... Tire clearance on the leaf spring. Issues. Yes, we do. So the tires are too big. Barry's come too far to compromise on the dragster look. They're going to adjust the car to fit the tires. We had to do a little modifying to get it in there, but uh, it really needs that tire to give it the look that we were trying to achieve with the whole car. With just four days to auction, they need to get this baby fired up and race-tuned. It's awesome. Barry's engine guy, Ken, goes to work on the dyno. Quarter-mile time with this motor should be around 10.50. It's going to be a quick car. Brandon doesn't know what he's in for. 
the 427 blown big block through its paces. The acceleration causes the rears to scrub. They still have a clearance problem, but things are about to get worse. I need $500 more to get this car sold. Three days to showtime. So give me a half of that. 19 bit of a Three days till Barry learns if his crazy idea to sell a race car at auction is ingenious or stupid. What's he gonna do? Right now, his hopes are lying in a pool on the workshop floor. The dyno test found a problem. Yep. Never even tightened it. Always make sure the radiator hoses are tight when you put the radiator in. And then it keeps my floor clean. Let's try to pull the side out a little bit. The, the inside, inside of the wheelhouse? You set inside the yeah. wheelhouse? Yeah, it does this. And it's the hose is an easy out. fix. We beat that in? The rear wheel scrub Massage. needs Massage. inspiration. Tony came up with the excellent idea of getting a bottle jack and uh, Put it in the wheel well and pushing the fender out. When the paint guy tells you to fend something, well, that's all good, and you bend it. If they push too hard, they'll crack the paint. With two days to auction, that's not an option. There's two panels. There's an outside skin and then an inside wheelhouse. And what we did was put the, a two by four and a bottle jack in there and push the inside wheelhouse up to the outside skin. Basically, just gave ourselves a little extra space. Oh, things are popping. That's what we want. So let's put the tire bag in, see if we got clearance. It's just as well the emergency repairs worked. Well, look at all the space we got now. <laughs> Times run out. It's got to go in the trailer sometime Wednesday, which is the day after tomorrow. But we also have to take it out to the races and run it tomorrow afternoon. But everybody's just busted ass. They sure have. Barry's team building exercise has cost $50,000 and 380 work hours. It came out awesome. Hey, it's the best car we've done. The green windows, the candy paint, all the lettering and everything, it just pulled it all together, it looks great. It's just cool. It just looks old school bitching, and that's kind of what we're going for with this whole car. It was a thousand dollar wreck, a garden variety Chevy Nova that probably never turned a head in its life. I had goosebumps. So it takes a lot to impress me, and that was pretty impressive. Now, it's impossible to ignore. The car is just awesome. I love the paint, the graphics, and uh, the motor. Just the enthusiasm with it was unreal. So everybody jumped in and was happy to work on it. They were having a blast. And true to Barry's promise, Young paint guy Todd gets the maiden voyage. I think it exceeded our expectations on the, the way it came out. I'm 
we all knew we could make something that would look good and replicate an old gasser, but I don't, I don't think we expected it to come out as good as it did. Basic, bare bones, and it's made to do one thing, and that's scare the crap out of you, and that's what it'll do. Gangrene's ready for its first eighth mile event against the very speed shop dragster built by Brandon Blank. It's good for the guys too. It helps kind of inspire everybody to do different things on the other cars and keep them fired up and keep them going because we do have a hectic schedule around here. If it isn't bolted to the floor, it's going to rip it up. I mean, it's just got power beyond power. It's just, it's stupid. It's awesome stupid is what it is. Getting off the throttle, the car never tried to move left or right or anything. It was just straight down the track. But there's one more contest, the pit bike showdown. Chris, Becky, and Barry. Chris loses his chain. And Barry wins. <laughs> Will he be so lucky at auction? Crunch time at Portland. The Silver Auto Auction is underway. Hundreds of vehicles lined up for the block. Some old, some new. But only one race car among them. There's no other kind of race car replica cars here. We're pretty much, we got the only one. I don't think there's even anything in here with a supercharger on it today. This could be good or bad. I'm concerned because it's not your car that somebody can just jump in and drive, you know, somebody that really know what they're doing with a car that knows what horsepower is all about. So that kind of scares me a little bit. And I just hope with all the lettering and stuff on it doesn't scare anybody away. Oh, it's got Mac with paint job. That paint job's a custom paint, man. Blower, big engine. This is old Gilmore style injection. It's electronic. Uh, it should be trouble free. It's got plenty of power, I can tell now. It looks like just be fun to drive and uh, a great car. It's bad. It's bad. I want to hear it run. I'm going to say, I'm going to I'm going to say, 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 I'm going to some cars aren't making their reserve. Barry needs $50,000 before he's in the money. It takes low 30s on that car. We've got a couple of guys interested, but where they'll end up, you know, how much they want to spend is... Again, it's a crapshoot. It's always up in the air. You, you never know what's going to happen when you're here. Truth be told, the guys back at the shop are hoping it won't sell today. It all started as an idea to lift team morale. When they're into drag racing, you know, this car turns them on and, and you know, they're all fired up. Pretty much all I know in life is every weekend it was time to go racing. 
Barry laid down the challenge with a thousand dollar wreck. What are you talking about? I'm gonna kick your ass. We'll see. Build a dragster in four weeks, and you can race it. Holy mackerel, what was that? It was always a gamble. What turns on the speed shop crew may not excite mainstream buyers. Yeah, like, go get ice cream. Yeah, ice cream this car. is a very unique, specialized car, so it's hard to say whether somebody's going to step up to the plate on it or not. The car captured imaginations. Super high uh, reserve. <laughs> Under grand. Everybody wants to keep this car. <laughs> For a while there, the speed shop went crazy. But now it's back to reality. Barry needs fifty thousand dollars to pay for team bonding. Engine is a John Barrett built big block Chevrolet featuring Brodex head. Time to turn memories into money. Darby, what do you want to pay? What's it? Thirty, I'm gonna forty. Ah, thirty, I'm gonna forty. Forty, I'm gonna thirty, I'm gonna I'm gonna forty, I'm gonna forty. What's that? I heard that. Thirty-five, I read his lips. And I'm gonna forty grand. Thirty-five, I'm gonna forty, and forty, but I'm forty, forty. Forty, I'm gonna forty, and forty, I'm gonna forty, and forty, but I'm forty. Forty thousand dollars. Thirty-five. Bidding opens high, straight to forty thousand. Forty thousand. Young lady, I need forty grand. Forty, I'm gonna forty-five. Forty-five. Forty-seven. I'm gonna have it happen for forty-seven thousand five hundred. Forty-seven five. Forty-seven. I'm gonna buy into five. He's out of forty-five. Forty-seven. I'm gonna buy into five for five. Forty-seven thousand five. Forty-seven five. I'm gonna buy into five for forty-seven. The initial rush is losing steam. No one's going north of forty-seven thousand. Five hundred. Forty-seven five. Able to buy. Forty-seven. I'm gonna buy into five into five. Forty. You want to be forty-six here? Now I'm 47. Now I'm 47. You're both out. 46. I'm at 47. And Barry's got a decision to make. Accept 47 grand and take a haircut or walk away and make his workers day. 47 out of 48. 48. 40. I got to be done, guys. I got to be all through. 47 out of 48. 48. 47. 5. 47. Is that a half? 47 out of 5. Okay, let's get it out of here. 47. 5. Gorgeous guard. Give me a hand, folks, for breaking a stunning automobile. Gangrene's coming home. I think there's a lot of people here looking for a bargain, and uh, and that's okay. That's great, but we didn't bring any bargains up. All the effort they went into the car, you know, you can't you can't let it go cheap. And, and to me, that's cheap. That's very cheap for this car. The amount of time and fabrication and work that was put into it. You kind of wonder if Barry ever really wanted to sell this one. It's pulled his speed shop together, and that's worth more than money. They really like this one. I think it would, wouldn't hurt their feelings to go out and play with it some more. <laughs> Let's go. Ah, there's no stress. It's all fun. <laughs> <laughs>